But something so sometimes pointless, useless, you go out after a good rain and then there's a puddle out there. Okay? There's no use for that water. But yet water in the hands of God becomes something supernatural and it will refresh and renew the land. And also at the same time, as old prophets used to do, they would bring judgment on cities and the kings. Sometimes that same water that we've harnessed and put inside of a bottle to drink and nourish us can also fall, flood, and destroy an entire world. That will nourish the ground, that will help our crops grow. I mix the same type of stuff in my baby's formula to feed her and make her grow. And this same stuff, the same substance right here can wipe out when it is grouped in large enough quantities. Let me tell you, as church people, you may feel like a little bottle not doing much. But if you do not forsake the assembly and you come and get together with like-minded people made out of the same stuff, there is nothing, there is no wall the enemy's gates can put up to hold back the spiritual people of God that are active in the gifts, prophesying, speaking out rightly, speaking righteousness into the land and not backing down from what the culture tries to tell us is true. There is no gate that can withstand the flood of the believers.